Let's talk about the Utah teapot. If you've ever worked with 3D graphics before, you have definitely seen this. It's a built-in model to most 3D editors, it's in tons of academic papers, and it's so ubiquitous it's become an inside joke with animators, and you'll sometimes see it snuck into films and games. Some even call it the sixth platonic solid. So it really surprised me when I found out that the manufacturer of the original teapot still makes them, and you can still order them today online. So of course I bought one. But why is it called the Utah Teapot, and how did it get so famous? Well, back in the early days of computer graphics, this was one of the first real-world objects to be digitally modeled. And it was done by a graphics researcher at the University of Utah, hence the name. Though it looks simple by today's standards, it was considered a complicated model at the time because it had properties like areas of positive and negative curvature, shadows it can cast onto itself, and topological holes like the handle. Plus, the fact it was shared publicly for free meant it really caught on in the graphics community as a test model. One obvious thing you'll notice is that the digital model is typically squished compared to the real one. The reason is that somewhere down the line, people just preferred the look of the squished one, and that ended up becoming the standard instead. And so the last question is, does it make a good cup of tea? Well, let's just say I'm glad I'm using the real one. They never bothered to model the underside of the original, so there's just a giant hole, and it would have made a mess. Thanks for watching.